Well, if you were concerned about how fast and far Donald Trump might go to change the face of what America is, it's already starting. Remember good old convicted treasonous former General Michael Flynn that Trump pardoned? Well, this breaking story I'm going to show you in just a few seconds. Have no doubt, this clown is on the way back. And just for a quick memory boost, just remember exactly how far this guy swung and who he really is. Prayer is probably the most powerful weapon system known to man. This is what scares our enemies. Okay, the left, the socialists, the Marxists, the communists. This is what scares them. Hey all, I'm John Avalon, and this is Reality Check on the extremist beat. Now, if the forces of Christian nationalism, conspiracy theories, and extremism in the military could be distilled into one person, it might be Michael Flynn, retired general and former national security advisor to ex-president Trump, now remade into a field marshal in the culture wars. I don't deny that we've had elections. I deny that we have fair elections. That's in his video elections. response to our reporting, we don't have Flynn took issue elections. with the term election denier, saying it was part of a misinformation campaign against and him. They're gonna try to, to bash us across the head and shoulders with every, every frame that they can put against us and every form of dis and misinformation. He said he knows a misinformation campaign when he sees one. I also have a level of expertise in these types of efforts. Former National Security Advisor Michael Flynn has refused to answer questions from the January 6th House Select Committee pleading the fifth. Committee members believe Flynn has information about former President Trump's efforts to overturn the 2020 election. Instead of being in Iowa, he placed a phone call into Michael Flynn's, quote, the reawakened tour. This was being held at Trump Doral. What is the reawakened tour that is hosted by Michael Flynn? It is a Christian nationalist conspiracy theory movement. I want to let you hear Donald Trump's phone call into that event. General Flynn, he's some general, he's some man, he took abuse like nobody could have handled, and he came out bigger, better, stronger than ever before. We love him, he's a leader, and uh, you just stay wealthy and healthy and well and everything. I want you to have great lives in general. You just have to stay healthy because we're bringing you back. So the reason why Michael Flynn didn't testify, didn't defend himself over January 6th is because Donald Trump pardoned him, didn't have to. And now in this breaking story, listen to what he just said when you start thinking about the state of American intelligence and safety, when they always talk about us being the problem. Here it is. In this breaking news, Raw Story reports, Michael Flynn, time to dismantle FBI and purge high-qualified government experts. Longtime Donald Trump ally Michael Flynn laid out his vision for what a second Trump term should look like on Steve Bannon's War Room show on Wednesday, including dismantling the FBI and purging the civil service. In quotes, we have got to get rid of entire departments, said Flynn. He went on to say, places like the FBI. He added that one of the top priorities should be removing in quotes, highly qualified experts from the government. Flynn, the former director of the Defense Intelligence Agency before being dismissed under the Obama administration, was briefly named Trump's national security advisor before being forced to leave and taking a criminal plea for lying to investigators about his associations with Russia. It is unclear whether Flynn will have any direct association with the incoming Trump administration. However, Trump does appear set to give powerful advisory roles to other conspiracy theorists, including tech billionaire Elon Musk, who ran much of Trump's voter outreach operation and pushed debunked voting machine theories and vaccine denier Robert F. Kennedy Jr., who has already vowed to pressure municipal governments to remove fluoride from tap water, despite its well-documented public health necessity. Listen, I'm 100% one of those people who always believes in making sure that how any mechanism, how any system, how any group of people are managed or set up needs to always be reviewed and be tweaked. But getting rid of the FBI? This is the same set of people who were screaming when people said defund the police. And this clown 
who Donald Trump loves, a former general, wants to eliminate the FBI, one of the most important intelligence community foundational elements of this country. Remember, folks, it's no longer about it being a democratic country. It's about trying to maintain what we have lived as knowing what America is. That's the place we are today. Hang in there. Stay strong.